Hey, sh hey everybody, it's Chantel. This is a tip for today. For some reason, my camera just got like super dark. I don't know why, but anyway. So I have recently got really big into watercolors, not recently, um, but got into using my paints a lot more in my Bible. I got a new Bible and so I just started using a lot of different paint uh, techniques in my Bible and not just acrylic, but watercolor. And with watercolor, they typically come in something like this. Um, well, a lot of people use them like this. This is just, it's called like a, a pan. But when I first purchased my watercolors, um, I actually bought them ooh, in this tube. Um, I don't really like the tube just cause I feel like I have to squirt it out. And then what if I, I don't use it all? Um, that's how I am with my acrylic paints as, as well is if I squirt out too much where do I put the excess and then I have like these little cups of like extra paint everywhere and I don't really like that so I really really wanted to use these tubes continue using them but put them in like a pan and what I mean by like a pan I guess I could probably show you a different um because I have some other ones I actually just got these ones in the in the mail I haven't it's like really crappy you can't even zoom in on that um it's Windsor and Newton I just got these in the mail so so pretty I can't wait to use them Yay! anyway they come in these little why am I showing you that never mind so one way you can transfer them into um, a pan is you can purchase one uh, I got this one on eBay they do sell them like everywhere actually did I get this one on eBay eBay or Amazon um, but they do sell them everywhere uh, they're pretty not cheap but they're not expensive um, I think this one that I got and it's two four six it's 12 pans um, I got it for 15 bucks I believe and it comes in this really nice tin I like it it's really pretty um, it has this little like clippy thing so you can hold it I really like this it's really nice it's cute it's black I can decorate it all I want to um, but I also thought like for my kids and you if you want to if you don't want to spend $15 on a pan um, one thing that I do have one of my children are trying to come up to the car one of one thing that I do also have is <laughs> um, there's this I just purchased as well because I don't know if I'm gonna decide to use this with my kids but it's this little thing I don't like this one in particular because there's no um, like real like I can't think of the word oh it's not really deep it's very shallow so I can only put so much in here and I'm kind of afraid of it getting everywhere else but I think this would be cool to use for my kids because we do have other tubes that I have to use with my kids and let them put their stuff in here, their tubes that they want, and these will stay at home. It's not something that I would carry inside of my Bible journaling bag. I'm going to move back a little bit because I think I got darker and I want you guys to still be able to see me. So the tip that I have is to use one of these little boxes that you can find at Dollar Tree. Um, they open up they normally have like these little slider things I took them out already um, to like make these boxes kind of smaller um, but use one of these boxes from Dollar Tree as well as two of these I say two of these because there are 12 boxes in here and there's only eight tubes so you'll have extra for four more which I'll show you in just a minute but two dollars and these have like tops on them so you can squeeze them out leave them open so that they dry and then you can cap them if you want to because one of the things that you have to um, realize is that with the watercolors the cheaper ones they actually um, will kind of flake um, they'll crack and they could fall off into other things so the artist loft um, paints that I do have these are a cheaper brand they were only five dollars and I think I got 12 I think I got 12 of them in here and oh, somebody's calling me reject that um I think I got 12 of them in there and which is perfect for this um 
but it's five bucks so it's not that really good it's not um super expensive paint that's got all this extra stuff to it but i think you can add like honey or something to it to make it a little more uh I don't know I can't think of the word but anyway <laughs> so I like that it has those tops so you just pop them out out of the bag put them in here and maybe I'll do this and I'll add a picture to picture to it and then you just put them inside these little things put these in here I also like this too because you can actually label these what the colors are what um what set it came from like if it's a Windsor set or a Koi set or pris, uh, prism set or whatever set it is that you you have the tubes from you can label it and you can tell what the color is the other cool thing that I like about this which I'm actually gonna do with the second one that I have is make my own colors so I'm gonna take a bunch of the artist loft colors and do some mixing and make some colors um, that they don't have inside of that set that I actually kind of want um, and then use that for this and so add the the measurements or how much of what I put into each so that I always know that excuse me you can also use this to put in your gel medium you can use it to put in um, your gesso your gloss medium whatever it is that you use with your paint um, you can actually even put a little one of these with some water inside of it because these are pretty um, air airtight I mean they're pretty solid I wouldn't say fill it all the way up to the top but you can definitely use your clean water and your dirty water if you're doing something small um, like just hanging out normally that's what these are for like going out somewhere and just doing something small and then dumping it and putting it back in um, there's the options with this are seamless and they come in really cool colors I just like white because it's it's white it's I can decorate it I can paint it I can do whatever not that I couldn't do that with something else but I just like a white clean canvas um, sorry about the glare but yeah so that's my tip for today this video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be but yeah I think it's super um, quick and easy it'll cost you up to three dollars if you want to fill in those front um, pockets with something else other than like I don't know a sponge or even like paper you can even do that like in one of these um because I always have like a towel or a, a napkin with me you can put like paper in here I'm sorry napkins in here <laughs> and you can actually use that as you're like wiping off brush like if you got too much water or um, trying to think of what else you can put in here I don't know glitter if you want to I don't know whatever you want but <laughs> that was my tip I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye